Hey guys, welcome to Cars, Cigars, and Cyber. We're at the uh, fun part of our episode where we get a chance to pair a great uh, whiskey or beverage with some very interesting cigars. What we have here is a factory smoke by Drew Estate. It's one of my uh, favorite cigars because of the price point. I mean, this is really a value stick. It has uh, interesting tasting notes. It's a blend of a lot of different leaves, uh, tobacco. It's a great smoke if you're interested. We also have a Undercrown, which is one of uh, Drew Estate's premier cigars. It's a Maduro. The dark wrapper gives you a nice heavy smoke. The size and the gauge of the cigar means that, hey, on cold days like today, you aren't committed to a long time being outside smoking in an uncomfortable environment. Or if you're in a cigar lounge or inside somewhere, again, these are great tasting notes, great cigars. Drew Estates does a good job with their uh, uh, cigars. That's why we feature them a lot on our show. Uh, what we're sipping on today is a single malt whiskey. Scotch whiskey is aged 12 years, a product of Scotland, and it is Glenfiddich. It's a nice, nice whiskey. If you're new to the whiskey game, uh, spend the extra dollars on the Glenfiddich. You can't go wrong. It's nice to have in your bar uh, on a day when you just want to relax and unwind. It's a, it's a good, good drink, good drink. So our previous conversation, we were talking about uh, middle age crisis, mid, mid age crisis. You hear that on the news quite a bit or in social discussions. Hey, that guy, that lady is going to a midlife crisis. And usually you uh, think about that as something kind of earth shattering. Sometimes it may result in large purchases. In our case, being car aficionados, we were talking about car purchases. As kids, you've always dreamed about what your go-to and fantasy car was. Once you started making some money, once the kids got off to school, once you got that promotion or something like that. Uh, for me, it was always the 911. You know, I have been a Porsche aficionado, that 911 Cabrio, the uh, GT Turbo. Those are things that uh, dreams are made of for car aficionados. But like for most of us, it's out of our budget, right? We just aren't there yet. So recently, uh, I was in the market for a car and trying to decide what was going to be the most bang and impactful for the buck, right? And I decided to go with a BMW M550. Now, if you're not familiar with this car, it's a four-door sedan. It's black, it was black on black, black interior, black exterior. But what was unique about it is the amenities that this car had. It was BMW's top of the line five series with the M package on it. So it had all of the technology features that we love. It had the horsepower, it had a twin turbo engine, and this thing could move. However, it still looked like an average 5 Series sedan. Sure, it had some front trimming, fascia, uh, had a rear spoiler, but after driving this car for a while, it made me feel flat. Meaning that, hey, that quench, that thirst for something unique had not been satisfied. So. As you guys know, when you're in the car purchasing business, when you buy a new car, it depreciates in value immediately. As Soon as you leave the uh, dealership lot, that thing starts to plummet in value. However, this midlife crisis phase, right, says, hey, Thomas, you need to be in that 911. But my pocket, my finance said, no, nah, you're not ready for that 911 yet. That note is still a bit much. So this is the compromise I came with. I said, okay, I got a great deal on the 5 Series, the M550, I went with that. However, after driving it for a while, it did not satisfy uh, that quench, that thirst for uh, something that's unique, something that stands out in the crowd. Interestingly enough, Mercedes has been going, undergoing quite a bit of uh, car redesign lately. Uh, and, and they have really have some sleek, unique, fun looking cars. Even when these cars aren't moving, they look cool. So that got me to this point where after driving the 550 for a couple months, I got rid of it. I got rid of it. And sure, my conscious, my uh, uh, budget-minded ego says, hey, that's the worst move ever, man. You're going to take a hit. But this midlife crisis 
that middle age uh, 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 angst, if you will, said, no, nah, get rid of it. You deserve to be happy, right? So what I did is looked around and I saw this convertible. It was the BMW Mercedes C-Series. And maybe two or three years ago, they started uh, redesigning that C-Class and they have a convertible. And one thing that's unique about the C-Class that uh, Mercedes is doing is that the color combinations. You can get a different color top uh, and different interior and body styling. So what I found was a gray, uh, kind of gunmetal, dark gray metallic uh, body, Merlot interior, and a Merlot top. It has the AMG package on it, it's great rims. This car is a showstopper. However, for a car aficionado, it does not have the horsepower that my 5 Series did. And of course, I took a hit, so that equity and things had to transfer over. Mercedes does have the AMG package with this uh, C, I think it's C63S and all of that. With all the bells and whistles, it's almost near Porsche money. I wasn't able to go that route, but I picked a car that met my uh, requirements and, and constraints. And I have not looked back. And when we were joking about this behind the scenes with the crew, all of us were feeling that same thing. We were in our 50s and going through that, again, midlife crisis of, hey, what's next in life? Let's take those things out of our bucket list and action them, right? Whether it be the Porsche, buying that favorite sports car, or taking trips with our family to locations that we had always dreamed about. That's what we were talking about with the midlife crisis. So we wanted to share that with you, and we're capturing that again uh, while we're enjoying our cigars, our whiskeys, but share some things that are personable and relatable to you. The premise behind our show, Car, Cigars, and Cyber, is not only to talk about these whiskeys, these cigars, but give heads up as to what are some of the pros and cons of the new technology, the new innovation, the new risk and concerns about uh, these smart, intelligent vehicles. So it would be interesting to hear from you guys. Uh, please follow us on our Instagram page, our YouTube channel. What are some of your midlife crisis faux pas, right? Whether that be that new house you've always dreamed about, that new luxury car, whether it's a Maserati, whether it's a Porsche, whether it's a Carmen Ghia, right? Whatever. Please share with us what some of your faux pas are. Hey. We aren't here to make fun or tease anybody, but this is uh, kind of where we're going and we wanted to share something personable about us at Cars, Cigars, and Cyber. So until next time, guys, keep on driving, keep on enjoying life. See you next time on Cars, Cigars, and Cyber. Cheers.